so it is round about 3 o'clock in the morning on the 28th of November 2020. I'm extremely tired having spent the entire week editing the last video that I just uploaded. That literal second, I noticed that Hulk merged the tech tree to the staging branch. You fucking monster. I'm left with the option to go to sleep, or I can explore the new tech tree, make a video on it, and show the Rust viewers out there exactly how the tech tree works. So I fired up my staging server, opened my Rust staging game, angrily loaded in, to bring you guys the latest in the world of Rust. I hope you enjoy. Good evening everybody, Flack is back and we have the tech tree and it's live and it's working on Rust staging. Now, currently in Rust, if you needed a certain item of choice, like let's say a semi-auto rifle, you first needed to get your hands on the rifle itself, which was usually done by pure luck or taking it off a dead man's person. Once you magically acquired the semi-auto, you'd have to place it inside a research table, throw in a heap of scrap, researching that precious item and destroying it in the process. The research table would then spit out a blueprint, you would learn the blueprint and then you'd be able to make yourself one of those guns. It was an extremely tedious process but unfortunately that's the way it was. If you were a gambling man and you fancied your luck, you could always walk over to a workbench, throw in a heap of scrap and there used to be an option here that said you can randomly generate a blueprint from this workbench. Of course, 9 times out of 10 it spat out the wrong blueprint and you were left with a bunch of garbage in your base. You had no control over what items you could learn. Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Es bleiben im Raum, Keitel. Jose. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiner war ein Befehl! But now we have the open tech tree option. When I click on the open tech tree option, we are greeted with a rather confusing appearance at first. Don't stress, this is fairly simple to understand. I would highly recommend throughout this video pausing so that you can get a better taste of how it works. But on this level one workbench, it works quite simply. We have five main items at the top here. It looks like tools, some random clothing, another random clothing item, some irrigation items, and of course, some electrical items. To unlock items, it works like this. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to learn the long sleeve t-shirt. If I click on it, it says no path. That no path is, of course, this little green line that is trailing to the topmost item on that branch. I first have to unlock the wife beater by putting in the specified amount of scrap. Once I click unlock, the item below it on that branch then becomes available. If I go to my inventory screen, you can see that that tank top is now unlocked. No blueprints whatsoever. Every item learned on the tech tree is instantly learned. There is no such thing as blueprints on the tech tree. Now that I've learned the tank top, the t-shirt now becomes available. I now have the ability to learn the t-shirt, thereby unlocking two items below it. The horseshoe and the long sleeve t-shirt. Let's say, for example, I wanted to unlock this reinforced window. I'd first have to click on the top branch, which is the salvaged hammer and I'd need to unlock the items along the branch to get to the desired item. I won't have to worry about unlocking these other random ones on the same branch as long as I follow the green line directly to the item that I want. Unlocking an item releases the items below it, meaning you can tailor exactly which items you want to unlock, leaving no more wasted items and no more wasted scrap, getting you into the action a lot faster. If I wanted to unlock satchel charges, I now know exactly the path I need and the exact amount of scrap I will need to unlock the satchel charges. No more guessing, no more searching. Things like your garage door, your wooden high walls, your strengthened glass windows, silences, flashlights, and even basic electricity items are instantly unlockable. I know I love this because the first thing I do when I start a new wipe is try and get my base's electricity running. Now I have that ability. Moving over to level two, you can see once I open the tech tree, I have already experimented with the level two bench. And as you can see, the hazzy and the med pen is easily unlockable directly on the same path. There is a ton of level 2 weapons to unlock, but the interesting thing to note is the semi and the 556 round that are already unlocked, even though the items above it are still locked. You remember earlier when I put that semi and that 556 round in the research table? If I learn a blueprint for an item that is lower down on the tech tree than where I've researched, it already unlocks it for me. I unfortunately wouldn't be able to unlock the item below it because it still doesn't have a clear path. Remember that green line has to go all the way from the top to the bottom in order to unlock those items. 
However, once I unlock the items on that chain, I will breeze right past the semi, which means duplicate studies won't be required. You won't have to do a blueprint and the tech tree. Once you do either or, it learns it throughout. Level three is when it starts getting super sweaty. Of course, as you know, the armored doors are number one. Once you research your armored doors, you can get right into the sweaty action. I'm talking AKs, Balties, sniper scopes. You sweaty chads will be playing CSGO and running the oil rig 24 hours a day in no time. So tell me, what do you think of the new tech tree technology? Do you think it's awesome? I personally love it. I'm tired of having boxes full of stupid shit like window shutters and tuna can lamps. And this is honestly the perfect solution instead of having this stupid guessing game where you throw in really hard earned scrap, randomly generated blueprints, and it's usually nine times out of 10 complete garbage. Please leave your comments below of what you think of the tech tree. Do you think anything should be changed on it? Do you think the prices as it currently stands are too high or too low? I think they seem kind of fair to be totally honest. And to misquote Sir Shadowfrax, things are probably going to change, but for now things are looking awfully good. I do hope you enjoyed this very quick update, I try to get this video up as soon as possible so that I can go take a nap. I do hope you have a fantastic day further, if you enjoyed please click the like button, if you haven't subbed please be sure to do so. A special shout out to my beautiful patrons. until next time, thank you for watching, Flack out.